Reinforcement theory is a theory that argues people will be more likely to repeat a behavior if it is followed by rewards, and less likely to repeat a behavior if it is followed by punishments. Reinforcement theory comes from the work of B.F. Skinner, a famous psychologist from the 20th century. He built on earlier ideas by Edward Thorndike, who said that behaviors followed by good outcomes are more likely to happen again. Skinner developed this idea further, showing how rewards and punishments can shape behavior. There are four main types of reinforcement. Positive reinforcement, negative reinforcement, punishment, and extinction. Positive reinforcement is when something good happens after a behavior, making it more likely to happen again. For example, if a student gets a sticker for doing their homework, they are more likely to do their homework in the future because they like getting stickers. Negative reinforcement is when something bad is taken away after a behavior, making it more likely to happen again. For instance, if a child cleans their room to stop their parent from nagging, the removal of nagging makes the child more likely to clean their room in the future. Punishment is when something bad happens after a behavior, making it less likely to happen again. For example, if a teenager is grounded for coming home late, they are less likely to come home late in the future because they don't want to be grounded again. Extinction is when a behavior stops because it is no longer followed by a reward. For example, if a dog stops getting treats for doing tricks, it might eventually stop doing tricks because it no longer expects a reward. There are several benefits to reinforcement theory. One benefit is that it can be very effective in changing behavior. For example, teachers and parents can use rewards and punishments to encourage good behavior in children. Another benefit is that it is based on clear and observable actions, making it easy to understand and apply. However, there are also criticisms of reinforcement theory. One criticism is that it can be overly simplistic, ignoring other factors that influence behavior, such as thoughts and emotions. Another criticism is that it can lead to dependence on rewards, where people only perform a behavior to get a reward and not because they understand or value the behavior itself.